All right, now obviously with each and every NBA season as it comes and goes, before the season, there are usually a lot of people that get into arguments and heated discussions concerning who is going to win which NBA award going into the next season. And as you guys obviously know, we are still currently in the off season about to go into the 2019 to 2020 NBA season. And I don't know about you guys, but it came across my mind to definitely get into this topic and discuss my way too early predictions for the 2019 to 20. 2020 NBA Awards. What is going on guys? And yes, today, as you can already tell from the title of the video, we are going to be going through and I am going to be explaining my predictions for the 2019 to 2020 NBA Awards. Yes, we are going to be going through each and every one of them. There are going to be some surprises in this video. That is for sure. So if you see me say anything or predict an award that you guys think I'm absolutely insane for doing, I want you guys to stop the video right then and there and comment down below who you think is going to win each and every award because you guys know how much I love discussing and getting into debates with you guys in the comments. That's mainly why I make these kinds of videos. So yeah, any feedback in the comments would be very much appreciated. Also, I just want to say if you do enjoy the video in any way, please make sure to slap a like on it down below as well. All the support around here truly does mean the world and I say it all the time, but I truly cannot thank you guys enough. But yeah, that's really all I have to say at the beginning of the video. So I thank you guys for clicking on this video and I will see you guys at the end. Don't forget to comment. Now, like I just said, I know this is probably way too early and I'm not saying that all of these predictions are going to be spot on or correct in any way. But anyway, let's hop into my first award prediction for the 2019 to 2020 NBA season. We are starting off with one of my favorite awards out of all of them in every NBA season. And this is actually the most improved player award. But however, going into talking about the most improved player of the 2019 to 2020 NBA season, this position is honestly always the hardest one to predict going into a season in my own opinion but when looking at it with the recent free agency and trades etc going around the entire league there are always some hints that can help and lead you towards deciding who you think is going to win this award but as you guys can probably already see with the highlights rolling in the background I have decided to go with my gut and select Terry Rozier as the player that I think is going to win this award going into and finishing the 2020 NBA season in my mind personally going with Terry Rozier just made the most sense to me especially going off of the mindset of deciding this award before the season even begins joining potentially the worst team in the league this offseason in the charlotte hornets which i'm sure a lot of people would agree with me in this statement terry rogier finally has the ability to be a starting point guard for his own team along with being the second option most of the time when he was in boston besides the little stunt of when kyrie irving was hurt in the 2018 playoff going off of that note we all probably remember when terry rogier was the number one one option on the Celtics as he stepped up in a big way when he filled this position and was a key reason to the Celtics elongated playoff success that season as they made it to game seven of the Eastern Conference Finals only to fall short of the one and only LeBron James himself but yeah you guys coming off averages of nine points four rebounds and three assists per game I can definitely see his averages skyrocketing when you compare them to his stats from last season and as most of us know acquiring the most improved player award has to do a lot with how much your statistics rise in these three categories. So yeah, I'm not sure you guys, but I went with my gut on this one and Terry Rozier seems to be the best and most obvious option in my own eyes. Going off of the most improved player award, we are now moving into the defensive player of the year. And as I'm going into this award, I'm actually going to go with a candidate that a lot of people actually believe should have won the award last season. Well, at least I think he should have won it in my personal opinion. And this is Paul George now with the Los Angeles Clippers. Barring any major major injury restrictions and or large amounts of rest, I firmly believe Paul George will be the leader for the Defensive Player of the Year rankings this season. You also have to remember that Paul George was a top three candidate in the MVP race and discussion. Let's definitely not forget that part. And now being on the LA Clippers, you guys, this will only help put more of a spotlight on Paul George this season. I feel like this is very clear as he has now teamed up with Kawhi Leonard. All of the lights will be on this Clippers team this year. And I know that doesn't mean everything, you guys, but being with another defensive prodigy in Kawhi as most of us know him this can definitely help Paul George get more attraction to potentially winning this award going into this season so yeah again you guys this is usually one of the awards that is a toss-up before the year I know that Rudy Gobert has won it a couple of times in the last couple of years and he probably will be a candidate again this season and don't get me wrong I have no disrespect for Rudy Gobert whatsoever he is well deserving of this award the past couple of years as he has won them but you guys in my own eyes I believe that Paul George should have won it last year and this 
here he's going to come out with a vengeance and actually claim this award for himself i am just really hoping his shoulders or other potential injuries don't get the best of him and get in the way of him actually getting this award moving on to another one of my favorite awards that i love to go through every single year we are moving on to the sixth man of the year position and yes i am going to be choosing someone to win this award that has the name other than lou williams but we're gonna go out on a loop here and i'm going to go with my prediction for sixth man of the year being derrick rose of the detroit pistons some of you might have potentially seen this coming and some of you might be kind of surprised at my prediction in this but let's get down to business and let's start discussing why i believe this is going to happen derrick rose had a breakout year again last year as you guys will look at it i'm still honestly kind of shocked that derrick rose did not win sixth man of the year last season as i chose him to be my candidate for it last year as well but he did start a fair amount of games for the minnesota timberwolves with jeff teague being injured if i remember correctly so that might have played a part in him actually not winning the sixth man of the year award but nonetheless i feel like d rose joining the detroit pistons this year which are somewhat of a contender is going to help him a ton in getting leverage to win this award and when i choose derrick rose to win this award this season and i'm kind of saying too much about lou williams winning it in the last couple of years there is no disrespect to lou williams either i give him so much credit for being able to take this award home the last couple of seasons because he is well deserving of it and he's going to play a crucial role in this season with the la clippers there's no doubt about that but this year i don't know you guys i see derrick rose having a similar season to last year with the timberwolves as he is destined to be at this spot right now it might change as the season comes forward but as of right now he is predicted to be the sixth man for this team and in my opinion it puts him in a great position to take this award home so keep your eyes open for derrick rose that's all i'm gonna say moving on to one of the biggest discussions this season coming up as well and it is the rookie of the year debate and you guys i'm not too sure but this might be the most shocking prediction of the entire video i'm not too sure how everyone is going to take this but yes as you can probably see from the highlights in the background i have ja morant winning this year's rookie of the year award i don't know you guys i feel like the fact of ja morant being on a new look and rebuilding memphis grizzlies team as the starting point guard right off the bat after the recent mike conley trade to the utah jazz and you guys i feel like this is going to put ja morant in a much better position to win the rookie of the year award compared to the odds on favorite in zion williamson zion has been drafted to a new orleans pelicans team that could potentially already be a contender as they are currently constructed as well as picking up players like Derek favors jj reddick etc he has a ton of players around him that can act as team leaders or bigger pieces to that team actually being a contender again i'm not saying that they are going to be a contender but they have the potential to be one in my own eyes let's be real here but looking at the team that zion has around him compared to the team that john ja morant currently has to work with i don't know i just see ja morant being in a more well fit position to put up bigger numbers and rather be one of the leaders of that team again you guys i am not saying that zion williamson cannot be a leader for that team i am just comparing their situations right now and looking at them side by side i feel like ja morant is more set up to win this rookie of the year award we're just gonna have to wait and see but that is what i'm going with and finally you guys we are on to the mvp award as you have all probably been waiting for and once again you guys for a back-to-back -back award winning season i am predicting that Giannis Antetokounmpo will win another mvp award in the 2019 to 2020 nba season coming off winning the 2019 nba mvp as i just stated i feel like Giannis is once again in the best setup position to take home this award once again even though it seems like the nba has recently not been a fan or in favor of giving out back-to-back -back mvps to specific players i feel like Giannis can definitely accomplish this coming off averages of 28 points 12 and a half rebounds and six assists per game at just the age of 24 years old he's only going to improve year by year he has still not hit the prime of his career yet as most would say and at this rate with how his team is set up around him i feel like this can very well happen where he takes home another most valuable player award i know there are many other favorites to win the mvp award this season such as lebron anthony davis steph curry Kawhi leonard etc i could keep going but these are only predictions as i just stated i am not saying these are going to happen for sure in any way shape or form and spark some discussion in the comments down below because you guys know i love to debate all these topics but yes i can definitely see Giannis leading his team to potentially the one or two seed in the eastern conference yet again and putting up very similar if not better numbers this season compared to what he put up in his mvp candidate season in the 2019 season my final award prediction for this video is Giannis Antetokounmpo yet again winning the 2019 to 2020 mvp award all right so there
there it is you guys there is my 2019 to 2020 nba award predictions for each and every award like i said there might be an award winner or two in this video that you guys disagree with so again if you guys disagree or you want to talk about it and debate make sure to leave your feedback in the comments as i said at the beginning of this video but once again i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you're still here if you haven't already subscribed to the channel we are coming out with brand new nba videos every single week but after stating that i think that's all i have to say you guys so once again i thank you guys so much for watching i love each and every one of you guys you all know this and please never forget it and i will see you all in the next video peace